Welcome to another edition of Wood Gas Stove Science Pot Stand 3.0 Build. A lot of you have asked me in the comments to show a build of this version 3 pot stand. Uh, so here it is. So this pot stand started its life as a green giant Mexicorn can. Uh, it's about three and a half inches tall and about three inches in diameter. Uh, notice how it sits down inside the Vortex 5.4 inside the inner and outer can. That makes it nice and stable so you don't have to worry about your food flipping onto the ground. The first thing you're going to do is take a sharp knife and slice the label down the center. Uh, and then peel it off. Be careful that the tape doesn't rip it because you'll be needing this to do a template. So the first thing you do is you measure one inch up from the bottom and make a line running lengthwise and then three-eighths of an inch from the top. And then you're going to make marks every 1.6 inches on that one inch line and then every other line you're going to mark 1.6 along the three-eighths line. Then you're going to tape the template that you've just made back onto the can and you'll want that one inch line on the side that is open on that Mexican can. I do want to apologize that this took so long. I actually had told several people I was going to make this video quite a while ago. So you're going to take a 3 16 drill and you're going to drill through the can at each one of the marks that you made on that template. Uh, all the way around that one inch line and all the way around the three eighths line. Uh, now that the pilot holes are done, you're going to take a step drill and you're going to drill through each hole and step it out to a full seven eighths diameter. Now my step drill was seven eighths diameter at the largest so it was pretty easy. I just drilled all the way through. Once that's done, you're going to cut the top end of the can, the closed end of that can, off with tin snips. Now you want to cut it at three and a quarter inches. That happens to be right at the crease at the top of the can. Um, so once you're done with that, you're going to take those really sharp corners and bend them over at 45 degrees. Here I'm not using gloves. It's probably a good idea. My hands are pretty beat up, so a cut here and there really do not cause much of a problem. Um, once the corners are um, rounded off, bent over, at three inches up, you're going to precisely mark a line. And once those lines are all marked, you're going to take some pliers, put on that mark, and bend it towards the inside of the can. Once you've bent it at 90 degrees, you'll bend it the rest of the way. You should be able to use your bare hands with this because there are no sharp edges. And it bends reasonably easy. This makes the can uh, pot stand much, much stronger in those areas and it will support your food much better. Once they're bent over you'll crimp them nice and tight with your pliers uh, just to make sure they're um, perfectly crimped. Uh, then you'll reform the diameter of the can by bending those tabs a little bit um, just to make it look nice and round again and then you'll deburr all the edges with a sharp file uh, because when you're carrying this in and out of the woods to a camping spot uh, you're not going to want to get cut with it. At this point, you're finished. This pot stand will make your Vortex 5.4 really heat up that food quickly. Another cool part here is that the pot stand actually will store inside of your wood gas stove. Um, so it's, it's great because you don't ever lose it. You can't forget it at home. Uh, so let's take a look at how the 5.4 burns with it and actually possibly heats up and cooks an egg. So here I just put my aluminum pan on uh, and it heated up pretty fast and I crack an egg and bingo! Cooking fine. Little extra shell never hurt anybody. So that's how we do it. Um, that's the video that everybody's been waiting for and hopefully it helped out a lot. Here's just a view of the Vortex 5.4 burning and there's that great Vortex. Uh, man, I still love to watch this burn. Uh, thank you very much for watching Wood Gas Stove Science Pot Stand 3.0 Build. Goodbye.